Yeah, what are you doing, guys? What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Listography. Crams are here with Joe and Jason. We're in the middle of our Pink Floyd discussions, and we got a fun little side three for you. Dark Side of the Moon, The Triangle, Rainbow, Wish You Were Here, Shaking a Hand of a Dude on Fire, All of the Beds in Momentary Lapse of Reason. What are they all in common? The company, the graphic design album cover company, Hypnosis. Really cool stuff. They've done a lot of other bands as well. We're going to pick five of our favorite album covers by these people. Jason, you're the graphic designer of our trio, so why don't you give your thoughts and give us what you got. I went through all of the ones that were listed on their Wikipedia page today. I'm not a huge fan of the overall style, but they have within their discography a handful of amazing album covers. I wrote a bunch down here, so I guess I'll start. Number five for me is Force It by UFO, and I was reading a little bit about the design. I didn't really realize there's all these, like, they're in a bathroom. There's a couple making out, standing in a shower, it looks like, and there's all these faucets around them and I didn't realize that all the faucets were a pun on faucet which is like the British pronunciation of faucet um so I thought that was pretty cool and kind of funny uh but it was a controversial album cover in its time just because I guess people didn't know what gender the people making out were so it was a big deal they kind of in for certain releases of the album they made the couple transparent so you couldn't really see them as well. Number four, I'm going to go with the Peter Gabriel Scratch album cover. I believe Hypnosis did all of those first three self-titled Peter Gabriel records. All of them are really cool. The one in the car, the one where he's melting, but this I think is the coolest with him sort of like tearing through the image with his fingernails. Number three, I'm going to go with Tormato by Yes, which I've always thought was just such a weird album title and the image is weird with guy like chopping tomatoes apart. I just always thought it was cool, kind of funny. Number two, I'm going to go with the album Go To by XTC. Just plain black and white text. The whole album cover is an essay written about how album covers are meant to sell you the product. And I've always thought that was kind of cool and funny, but I think easily the best design is my number one, just an iconic album cover to the point where I think people think this is the best album by this band and it's really not. And that is Electric Warrior by T-Rex. As far as just album design, selling a product, I don't think you could have a more iconic image, more appropriate for the band. I think the design elevates what people think of the music and I think that's the main goal of album art. So. That's got to be number one for me. Well, I mean, I guess we're excluding Pink Floyd album covers. Um, I, did, I did not. I did not exclude. That, that's fine. That'll keep things a little interesting because I at least have different ones than Jason. It would be a little too easy, I think, because it would basically be Wish You Were Here, Animals, Dark Side of the Moon, and a couple other ones. So I'll go outside the, the familiar path here. I had Scratch on my list. So instead, we'll just say Melt. There you go. They're both great. I have Melt. (laughs) Pick a different one. Pretty iconic work, all of that, from Hypnosis for for Peter Gabriel, who used them a lot, including on my next one, Lamb Lays Down on Broadway. I really like the, it's kind of, it's the whole thing. It's not just the cover. It kind of tells the story of the album. But on the cover, it's Real, the featured character, kind of stepping out and looking back. He's kind of like a cutout of himself looking back at the album cover, which I thought is pretty cool. I also have, which, and this is a band you would not consider, you probably wouldn't think of when you think of Hypnosis, but ACDC, their cover for Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, which is a collection of just normal looking people, but they all have their eyes blacked out with one of those anonymizing uh, black strips. So it makes them all look like criminals, which is pretty cool because it's like grannies and like little kids in there and everything. 
So it's a very, just a very kind of cool cover there. I also have presents from Led Zeppelin, you know, the family kind of sitting around this anonymous black totem in the middle of the kitchen table. Hypnosis was very literal in a lot of their album designs. It's, you know, they, they kind of take the title of the album and really kind of force that into the, the image, which works sometimes. Sometimes it's a little weird. And uh, for my fifth, I'm going to break my own rule and, or my number one, I guess, I'm going to break my own rule and pick Pink Floyd, Dark Side of the Moon, because it's so iconic that it's probably the most recognizable cover in history of music, maybe, possibly. Yeah, it's, it's one of the most iconic um, and kind of really put them on the map, I think. So that is my number one from Hypnosis. All right. You guys stole a lot of mine, so I'm going to have to think on the fly and get some of my minor leaguers up here. No particular order. I'm going with Trick of the Tail by Genesis. It's a nice, like, cool shade of, like, dirty canary yellow, and then just a line of, like, these kind of folklore fictional characters um, and knickers, some of them. Uh, I had Peter Gabriel's Melt Face. Let's scratch that one off. I also had UFO Force It. Let's get rid of that one. Houses of the Holy, kind of the the naked sirens, kind of sitting on that weird like stone mountain. Just the eye line is really nice there. I'm going to go with my Floyd one as animals. I think it's great because the lighting and the shallows make it really cryptic and creepy kind of factory with these dark smoggy clouds in the background that matches kind of like that critique on you know like capitalism and societal rules well where you have like this dirty factory just kind of rotting you know soon to be rotting away let's throw in Def Leppard high and dry I remember this one growing up because it's a guy diving straight down into a pool and then everyone like looking up the eye lines don't match and everything but it looks kind of cool and kind of crazy um and then finally by the way I do love the Electric Warrior T-Rex one. Let's go with just maybe their simplest one, the original Bad Company one. That's just Bad Co, not messing around, pretty simple, straight up, which is kind of what their music is. Not a lot of fat to grab onto. So, I mean, they've got a ton. It, it was nice just kind of going through and looking at all of these as pieces of graphic design and album covers. And I love album art. I had no idea that this company or whoever was doing as many of these classics as they did, which is pretty cool. We want to do any uh, bonus selections? Do you have any left over? Everything from 10cc. It's all very literal. Yeah, the 10cc ones are really good. I especially like Deceptive Bends with the scuba diver <laughs> the woman out of the water. Technical Ecstasy by Black Sabbath is kind of a cool one. With, like the robots having some sort of like robot intercourse or whatever they're doing. I like some of <laughs> some of the uh, Scorpions ones are kind of funny. The Love Drive, I guess, probably wouldn't fly in today's uh, <laughs> by today's standards, but that one's cool. And I'm surprised that neither of you mentioned In Through the Outdoor as well, which maybe as like a graphic image isn't as memorable as some of the other ones. But I think the overall like just concept of the, the paper bag and then the inside being like different images, there were like six different photos that you could have ended up with. And then even the inner sleeve was like one of those things that you could like add water to and make it look like a watercolor. So I just think the overall packaging of that is, is pretty cool. All right, everybody. Thanks for tuning into our side three. Um, we're done with Pink Floyd. Let us know what you thought. Stay tuned for Dire Straits. I love Mark Knopfler, so it should be fun. Um, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, like, get the notifications, and comment below. Give us some of your favorite album covers, regardless of who's doing them. Let's talk album covers. See you next time.